Okay, so I got... I can make the Yulon Magnolia sap now. I can also make the the pine wood here and the pine sap, but I need to go to uh, Spirestone Canyons. What can I make with the Yulon Mongolian sap? Yulon Mongolian sap. Polonia sap, which I need. Polonia sap. Well, what the fuck is it called, Polonia? Okay, whatever, whatever, we'll just go with it. So I can craft that now. Polonia sap, okay. Polonia sap for the, that. How much of the sap will they give me, though? That gives me ten, this gives me one. Oh, shit! It gives me only one. And it takes two hours to get this. But how much of this do they give you? They only give you one, one of this. Jeebus. Look at that. And you can only use the Viridian Jar once. And, uh... Looking for those materials. That is ridiculous. Can these materials be traded or no? Nectar water? Viridian Quartz? Yes, they can be traded, so... That is just... Hardcore shit right there, Jesus. Simple Refiner. Premium bowl. I need that sand clay from Huang so I can make the premium bowls. That will go to Huang. Bathroom. Okay. Huang and bathroom. Simple refiner. Pony is up. But, but I can use this right here to uh, level up my Mar Mary Pottery. So it's not a complete waste of time, I suppose. But then again, I would love to get go to the Toman Range or somewhere and just get these level 2 uh, orders. Fire Canyons. If I were to get the pine sap, that would be 12, right? Pine log. Firestone canyons. Can I buy uh, the Viridian jars and pickaxes from the cash shop? Materials. Supplies. Consumables. Materials. Doesn't look like I can. Oh, I guess that's a good way. You know, they're limiting the effect of... Uh... Jesus Christ, that's loud. They're limiting the effect of... Uh... The cash up on the economy. So I guess you can't farm those that shit. You have to actually just craft it. Okay. What about the Hung Moon coins? That different? Supplies? No, it's not actually any different either. Okay. Okay then. Might be a stupid thing to do, but. I'm gonna go and uh, get those other things I can craft. I mean, order. Firestone Canyons and Razor Wing. Firestone Canyons, Forshing Sand, Omen Ring. Range Court and Gongshu Isle. 
Firestone Canyons. Okay, where's the Firestone? Are they in the Cinderland? Scorching Land. Home and Range. I guess that's the first place you go when you get to the Meridian Coast. So, for the Tome and Range, I could get uh, Iron Ox Meat. Dongshu Isle. Ox Meat. Okay. Tome and Range. Gonna have to go. Okay. Firestone. Firestone, then. Fortune. Razor Wing. Firestone. So I'd have to make my way all the way the fuck up there to get uh, some of that stuff too. Pretty in coast. Here. I have to go back down there. Way up to the Cinderland. Alright, that's what we're gonna do, people. That is what we are going to do. I use this Jade Stone Return Charm. And we're gonna go get those uh, order ingredients. Uh. I need them. Need them. So that's kind of cool. Like it takes you off the beaten path. If you really, really has connected to the server. want to do crafting, you have to go off the beaten path and. Get the proper materials first before you can actually order that stuff in. Yeah. See what the clan is talking about. Uh, nothing. Apparently. I kind of wish this game had mounts, but then again, just seeing a bunch of people clustered together on horses would be kind of annoying. Oh, and I leveled up, so... Lightning, five point strike, blade echo on a critical flicker, crash on airborne target, basic stance. Okay, so we're, we're slowly starting to get some stuff here. I'm basically gonna try and uh, level up everything in my draw stance. Like, I do have some points into the basic stance abilities, but that's just to, like, have plenty of focus built up. Take flight stuff. I mean... Which is while using flock of blades. Which is to free flock of blades. So how does that work? Is Use V, block of blades, while using flock of blades, change your stance, which is to retrieve flock of blades, it's scourge. Okay, so if I push V, oh, that is cool as shit. I'm gonna go BAM! BAM! That is neat! Okay, but how exactly does that ability work? Block of blades are still available. Resist immobilization while using soul blade. Breaks snare status and pierces the able to reset cooldown. Interesting, interesting. Lightning rod while using flock of blades. While using flock of blades, warding spirit. Party members within range resist projectiles. Okay. Lightning thing while using flock of blades. While 
Whirlwind Scourge. A Blitz Blade Scourge while using Flock of Blades. So there's Basic, Draw, and Flock of Blades. Blade Storm. Draw Stance while using Flock of Blades. Interesting, interesting. Pierce. On own slash draw. Crash. Airborne. Flicker. Rising. Oh. I'm airborne target. Lightning draw. Five point strike. Reversal. Escape from grapple. Grab. Phantom grip when using in response to an enemy attack trigger during a grapple. Okay. Whirl. Successful resist during a knockdown phase. Thrash during that. Lock. Ride the dragon pulse. Stomp. Flash step. When enemy is killed, recover 10 focus. Okay. Take flight. Create second one lunar slash. Okay, I think I have a good idea of how this works. Critical damage or increased lightning strike. Going to target on a critical hit can be used two times executively. Knock down three seconds. That'd be kind of cool. Critical chance increase on knockdown stun groggy or chi choke and. Thousand. Oh shit. Boot. Focus cost one. Knocks down for two seconds. On hit, pierce, and heaven split maximum boost. And there's like just so many abilities to use here. Evade. Ooh, if I evade, it'll it'll switch me to the draw stand. So that's pretty neat. That's that's very neat, actually. It's another way for for me to get into the draw stance when I have like full. And that's a thing too. Like I either have my my lightning draw, my Q, which throws me into it. Um, and that's it. So, like, when even if I have, if I if I don't have my Q on cooldown or my four on cooldown, I can't enter the lightning draw stance. I mean, the draw stance. There's more. See right here, blindside. If I were to use that, down this fucking guy, It'd give me a six second cooldown where I couldn't use it anymore, and then the moment I exited. Oh, wait a minute. Draw stance. Okay, so I exit draw stance when I run out of focus. So there's just like literally no limit on there. Well, there is a time limit, but yeah. Okay, so. Uh, interesting. My step. Like, there a thing that tells me exactly draw stance? Or is it just one of them? Alright, um... It's up to five enemies consecutively, so it's be like a tiger strike. Oh, but... Increases damage it does. Okay, so if I if I decided to go for this one, one hit every focus upon successful attack. Defensive skills are unavailable. 
So I'll lose that. They will be able to use defensive skills, but my damage will go up significantly. That was and that would just be fucking destructive right there. So I'm sacrificing the dis disability as effect damage. Generate three times the amount of threat. 2014. For what exactly does this pull down by 36 seconds? So, like half a minute. This damage status effects for 0.6 upon resist. Use ready as a cyclone. On resist during cyclone. Generate three times the damage of threat. Huh. I'm very tempted to get this one. If I were to get to raid, it would improve the amount of time I can spend in the draw stand. Well, it'll improve the amount of focus I have for the draw stand. Every 18 seconds, status effects last seconds. On hitting an enemy, decreases their movement speed by 50% for 8 seconds. Movement skill is not available. Keep wound 12 seconds and status effect. Well, I'm gonna get uh, upgrade the 5 point strike. That is just attractive. I love it. This damage is but he's a cyclone. I don't think I'll get that. I don't know what getting a cyclone. Yeah. yeah. Amazing, I just spent like so much time just figuring out the skills and shit and guys are just standing there. Uh, you tolerate me. Thank you. Oh, speaking of that, uh, I can upgrade this now if I go and buy that blight weapon. Yeah. Okay, I'm back. I had to get a cookie, guys. I had to get a cookie. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Oh no. Son of a bitch. God damn it. Get him raped. Wind stride unavailable at this time. What do you mean? This is fucking ridiculous, you guys. Okay, I'm stuck. Uh, 
escape. Thank fucking god, Mike. Better not have teleported me all the way back to Jadestone Village. I swear to god. I that.